So today we're going to talk about the warning signs that can help you detect if there's parasites in your body. But I have some news to break with you. Regardless of what you're doing health-wise, chances are you have parasites in your body right now. They're just not creating any problems. Now, what is a parasite? A parasite could be either a virus, a worm, a bacteria, or a fungus that has a very different relationship with your body. It's not a friendly bacteria or a friendly microbe. It basically leaches things from you, creates problems for you, but in return, it's, there's no benefits at all. And so that relationship is more pathogenic. Now, of course, there's even people that are parasitic. They leech off other people. They don't exchange back with people. They just keep taking and taking and taking. And you probably know some people like that. But as far as microbes go, as long as you have a relationship where there's exchange, then there's no problem. But these parasites are literally robbing your nutrients, okay? And so let's go through some of the symptoms that you're going to experience. The first big symptom has to do with your digestion. And all of these digestive reactions from parasites are mainly due to your own immune system trying to kill off these unfriendly microbes. Okay. And so you're going to have usually diarrhea, like what would be positive about diarrhea? Well, it's a way of flushing out parasites. So diarrhea is one of the most common symptoms or signs that you have parasites, especially if it's uh, kind of right after maybe a long trip going out of the country and you accidentally drank the water from some place where you don't have the immunity like other people do. Other symptoms related to immunity is nausea. Okay. You feel nauseous. Uh, that symptom is related again to your immune system reaction to killing off the parasite. You can also have a lot of bloating. You can have a lot of gas. You can even have uh, constipation. Now, the next symptom that you may experience from having parasites uh, has to do with fatigue, mainly from the parasites robbing your nutrients. They're competitive. They're going to eat up all the nutrients in your small intestine and leave you deficient. So you're going to feel tired. You're going to feel lethargic. You're going to feel wore out. You're just not going to have the energy that you need. Not to mention the fatigue coming from the immune system, working really hard to kill off the parasite. And it could be like high levels of histamines too. Histamines are kind of fatigue poisons that occur in immune reactions. Now, another common symptom with parasites is itchiness in your private parts. Now you can also have itchiness throughout your whole body, but that would be a common symptom of parasites. Another common symptom would be mood changes, right? It's going to affect your mood. You might feel irritable. You may have blood sugar problems simply because what these microbes are doing to your chemistry. You will probably have skin changes eventually, especially if you have a worm infection, like if it's ringworm or roundworm, you may have some skin problems. You might have uh, redness or some type of rash if you had a tick bite, as in Lyme disease. Many times you may also have a craving for milk sugar, okay, as in ice cream or sweets. The worst thing you could do if you have a parasite infection or even a candida infection is to continue to consume uh, milk sugar or any sweets at all. Now, with some people, depending on how long you've had this parasite infection, you may find that your appetite either goes up or goes down depending on the stage of this infection. You can completely lose your appetite or probably in the beginning of this infection, you have more of an appetite because you're not able to benefit from the nutrients in the food that you're eating because they're robbing it. But the other thing too, with infections in general, is that one defense mechanism that your body has against infections is losing your appetite and going on a fast, which indirectly strengthens your immune system to fight this thing off better. Like a lot of animals, for example, when they get infections, they lose their appetite as well. So this idea of eating more to nourish your body isn't always the best thing when it comes down to your immune system. Now, you may also have brain fog as a common symptom from parasites from both the immune reaction, as well as some of the byproducts or the toxins that some of these parasites are giving off as your immune system is killing them. And you may also experience allergies, excessive sneezing from having a parasite infection. 
you always want to find out when did these symptoms start and what happened just before the symptom. In practice, I had a fairly large number of nurses that would come in. And many times I've noticed that nurses tended to have more parasites. One common cause of getting an infection is being in a hospital, which apparently is the worst place to go if you're trying to avoid infections because you have all the sick people there, right? And you have this concentrated group of sick people with all these pathogens floating around. Parasites are very, very common. About 3 billion people a year in the world get parasitic infections. I think over 200,000 people die from parasites. This is why it's so important to understand that your immune system is your best weapon. You need your immune system to keep these parasites and pathogens in check. That's what it's there for. And one of the primary modes that these pathogens have against you is suppressing your immune system to block nutrients like zinc, uh, vitamin D, and other nutrients so they can have the unfair advantage. But you really need to put attention on the immune system. So if you don't have this in consideration, you can be susceptible to, I don't know, accidentally destroying your immune system as you're trying to destroy the pathogen or the disease. So really put attention on the importance of your immune system in any treatment that you get. Because as soon as you suppress your immune system, you're more susceptible to more infections, more problems. And this definitely relates to your microbiome in your gut. The microbiome in your gut is probably responsible for at least 75 to up to 80% of your immune system. So above everything, try like heck to keep those uh, microbes alive and keep them very happy and friendly and make sure that relationship doesn't change to being unfriendly because the environment is so stressed out. I mean, there are like over 300,000 different types of parasites. So they're all around us. We can't avoid them and we can't live in a sterile environment. So the greatest uh, weapon is just to take care of our immune system. So what is the best antidotes to parasites, okay? Well, it would be those natural antidotes that have very powerful anti-parasitic effects, um, yet have the least side effects, okay? So I'm gonna go through them right now, and there's four of them, and there's a lot of other things as well, but these are plant-based. See, plants are also susceptible to parasite infections, and they've been for eons uh, developing certain strategies and certain chemicals that kill off parasites. And we can piggyback on those plants, consume them for that benefit for our own parasites. And so the number one antidote to parasites is garlic. So you wanna eat plenty of garlic. Number two, wormwood extract. Okay, wormwood extract, a very potent anti-parasitic and it's a good dewormer as well. And the next one is clove, okay? There are certain phytonutrients in clove that have potent antiparasitic effects. Then you get the famous black walnut hull extract. It's extracts from those outer covering of the black walnut, okay? Which is very, very uh, pungent and very, very potent against parasites. You don't see a lot of parasites around the hulls. Even for animals, uh, for example, the cattle that I'm raising, you can use apple cider vinegar as a dewormer instead of a drug that's a dewormer. So why is that important? Because anything that gives you an, uh, more acid in your stomach can help kill off parasites. Probably one of the reasons why people get parasites in the first place is the pH of your stomach is not acid enough to kill off the parasites that are in your foods. So that stomach acid is another really important um, barrier to keep the microbes from surviving. Now, since we're on the topic of parasites and digestive problems, and especially this one called diarrhea, um, there's some slightly different remedies involved with diarrhea to stop the diarrhea that I think would be very important for you to learn about. And I put that video up right here, check it out.